What's up guys, this is Alex Room from AlexRoomSound.com and today we're going to do a little studio setup tour. If you've been following along, you're probably noticing that a lot of my equipment has been changing and I've not really shared any of my thoughts on that. So today we're going to do that. I'm going to show you everything, give you my thoughts. Before we do, make sure you go to courses.alexroomsound.com and check out my music production course where I take you through the entire music production process from start to finish, all the way from production through mixing and through mastering. It's a sick course, make sure you go check that out. So let's get into this video. We're gonna start out with the monitors. These are Yamaha HS8 monitors. These are upgrades from my last monitors, the M-Audio BX8 monitors. These are eight inch monitors with eight inch subwoofers in them. They're pretty big, pretty bulky, but that's what a, a studio monitor is. Super clean sound, super flat sound. My M-Audio BX8s, I had trouble mixing in the mid range frequencies, but I was pretty good at mixing the lows and the highs. Whereas these, my mixing skill just completely deteriorated because they're actually too clean for me. Not used to them at all. Uh, the bass sounds a lot better in them, but it's incredibly hard for me to balance in them. Not used to it, but I will get used to it. All right, next thing I want to show you guys is my Complete Control S61 keyboard. This keyboard is a massive upgrade from my last keyboard, the Samsung Graphite 49. Couldn't be happier with it. The build quality is like pretty excellent. It has a ton of buttons and knobs that I've never used on it, and I'm probably not ever really going to use. I never really use the uh, knobs and, and buttons on MIDI keyboards anyway, so that's not really something, that's not really the reason I bought this keyboard. My biggest problem with it is it has all these nice LEDs that are capable of changing colors, but there is no way to change these colors. And that was a huge bummer because sometimes I like to change the colors just to change the mood. And that's just, uh, you know, pretty upsetting. The keys are nice and weighted, and it looks cool. It's super aesthetically pleasing. Next thing I want to show you guys is my audio interface. This is the Focusrite Claret 2 Pre. This interface was $500. The reason I bought it is because it is a powered uh, interface, which means it plugs into the wall. It is not USB powered, and it makes and it does really well with running high powered mics, which is what my last interface did not do well. Moving on to my chair, this is the DX Racer. It is a baseline DX Racer, so it's not 100% full leather and it's completely catered to my size. It's a totally awesome chair. The reason I got it is because it looked cool and I've seen it in plenty of YouTube videos across the board. Uh, but that is pretty much the only reason I got it be is because it looked cool and this color matched my monitors because you can get like a bunch of different colors. This is the Formula Series DX Racer and it's super ergonomic, keeps me sitting up straight and that's what I like. My old chair did not keep me sitting up straight, it kept me hunched over because I was allowed to hunch over. In this one, there's this big pillow down here that's kind of shoving into my back, making me sit up straight and, you know, uh, feel good while I'm working hard. So next thing I want to show you guys is my headphones. These are ATH M50X headphones. These headphones were $179. Would never get any other headphone in the world. These are perfect headphones. They're closed back, which is what I like. They are not open back. A lot of people like open back headphones but that lets a lot of sound out. And when, you're, when I'm mixing, I like to hear everything. And I like everything to be tight and contained. So yeah, super, ple super pleased with those headphones. They're the ATH M50Xs. Every time they break, I just replace them and get the same headphones all over again without getting any other headphones. And across the board, I could get a really good mix in them. So if I could get a really good mix in something, I'm going to go right back to it and keep using it uh, until something really different or really good comes along. But until then, I'm going to stay with the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. Finally, we're going to talk about my microphone. This is the Audio-Technica AT4050. This was a $700 microphone, which is an upgrade from my last microphone, which is an AT2020. 2020 was a $150 microphone, so it was uh, quite an upgrade in price. 
and a decent upgrade in quality not the biggest upgrade in the world it like didn't didn't like hit me in the face or anything the audio quality difference uh, but there was a little tiny bit of a difference there so anytime you can improve vocal quality just like this much i think that's an upgrade that's all i could really say about that microphone is that yes it was a little bit of an upgrade so i'm pretty pleased with that microphone all across the board i did record my newest song cleanup game with this microphone that i did with lauren panic and if you want to hear the vocals that i recorded with that go on my soundcloud at soundcloud.com slash Alex Rome and check out my latest song cleanup game that I do at Lauren panic and you could hear the vocal quality that I recorded with this microphone here so that's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you guys uh, the iMac I didn't feel like getting to because it's just an iMac <laughs> it's, it's like I think everybody knows what iMacs are capable of and what they aren't capable of it's a pretty smooth ride making music on this iMac so can't really complain about anything pretty happy with it if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe here if you're new and leave your comments in the comment section below i would really really appreciate that and make sure you're following me on instagram at alex Rome sound stay tuned for some more daily videos this is alex Rome. peace out